Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Ethereum is currently moving into the apex of a triangle as you can see it here on the screen. So before we really go into the uh, lower level data here in time frame, let's zoom out a little bit just to understand where we come from. We are currently in my opinion in a wave C of a wave 2 that is um, going to complete the overall correction that started at here two thousand and twenty dollars basically and yeah, we have come down so far in a three wave move abc after we moved up from 880 to 2020 um, in the period between june and yeah august okay so from that august high i currently see the current move that is coming down as a corrective move um something that confirmed so as I said before, you know, if we go below a thousand dollars, we have to see this move that is coming down as an impulsive move, because the thousand dollar level is a key level, also in a key Fibonacci retracement level. It is actually the seventy-eight point six percent Fib level. So dropping below that would activate the bearish scenario. At the moment, my case or my primary expectation here is that Ethereum has already seen the low at eight eighty the low of the bear market yeah i mean it might sound crazy but that is sort of the trade setup we have here um again a drop below a thousand dollars would most likely push us to new lows but as long as that level is holding we can focus on the scenario that this year is just a three wave move an abc correction a corrective wave pattern which would eventually break out to the upside from here as long as we're holding the $1,000 level. Key area for turnaround, I've got here 11.30 to 12.80. That is sort of um, the key level, yeah? The key area. <clears throat> I already bought at 12.50 and I will buy again if we make another lower low, as long as we hold above $1,000, yeah? Um, important to understand here that, yes, this could become a five wave move. I currently don't find it very likely we, I'm open to the idea and therefore I've got my risk management in place, something that I talk about regularly here on this channel. Um, but the reason why I'm also more open here towards the idea that this is just a correction, not an impulse, which would break a thousand dollars, but just a correction, which should hold that level, is that this move down here in red, one, two, three, four, five, can be counted as a diagonal pattern. So each of these subwaves has three waves. A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. And this therefore means this could very likely be a, an ending diagonal. An ending diagonal can, for example, occur in a wave C. If this was an impulse down, this would be probably the wave three. A wave three cannot be an ending diagonal. Okay, so therefore I'm more leaning here towards a bullish scenario. So let's zoom into the mess here, into the lower level price action. Um, don't want to make it too complicated. There are, my view is, my view is, let me take the fibs out. My view is that we're either already here in the fifth wave down, which means wave four peaked here at 1400, a, B, and we're now in the wave C down, or that the wave four peaked here also at $1,400 just only a couple of days ago, and that we have done here a wave A, wave B as well, and we're now in the C down. Um, what I wouldn't be surprised about is if this, what I have labeled here as either wave two, which would come down afterwards, or wave B, yeah, um, if, if this is going to extend a little bit higher. Yeah, because without a problem, this wave two could just be part of A, B, C. So there is nothing that guarantees me at this stage that wave two is already in or wave B. Both of these waves have still space to the upside. So as long as we stay, honestly, as long as we stay below 1400, both of these are possible. So I would not be surprised if this triangle in this current choppy price action actually breaks out to the upside. And then we should uh, move first of all to 1370. That is um, one of the key resistance levels here on the chart. And then 1400. These are the key levels I observe. Only if we go above 1400, I would also be more or at least, yeah, 
more focusing on a bullish breakout. So a direct breakout is possible. This is the green count here, would be a leading diagonal. In that case, we would say the low is already in here, was already in on the 21st of September. And we're now moving up in a one, two, three, four, five pattern leading diagonal. But to do that, we need to hold yesterday's low at 1290. And we'll obviously need to break the 1400 level to the upside and eventually need to get sort of into the region around 1500, which would be the wave three high. So these are the scenarios I'm observing. We're in a triangle. As long as we are within a pattern like that, we can only speculate, need to wait for the breakout, need to wait for the confirmation. Um, price target to the downside in another low for me would be between 1150 and 1200. And yeah, to the upside, I gave you all the key levels as well that are relevant and again, you know, at the moment, a breakout to the upside is possible. I don't find it very likely at the moment. So I'm still looking here at another low and the entire pattern would look better with one more low in place. And other than that, you know, I'm waiting afterwards for the increase in wave three that should take us to uh, $3,000. Now, again, this is not guaranteed to play out. So make sure that you have your risk management in place. You know, this is a trade setup, one, two. It's a one, two pattern among the best ones that you get in Elliott Wave. Um, and that's what I'm playing with here. You know, that's what I'm looking at. And that's uh, what I'm waiting for. Okay, and that's my update about Ethereum. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.